In summer of 2019, I tried to grow some Indian vegetable in my balcony. Let's learn how it turned out. Well, some vegetable plants provided me very tasty and healthy vegetables and some provided only oxygen but it was a great experience so let's discuss one by one what were the yield from my balcony vegetable garden in this experiment what i did was i collected the seeds of indian vegetables from various sources i ordered them online my sister bought it for me and um, also like uh, I used um, some seeds from my spice box and my pen feed so these are all details are in, in the previous video that I uploaded in, in, in June and I will put the link in description also in this video I will show you only the results and uh, I will show you how mother nature was um, very very um, kind to me and I really learn a lot from this experiment. So here you see there is one uh, beautiful beautiful friend of us who used to visit my balcony very often. satisfactory results from chickpea plant let's take a look at it i honestly admit that june was just the beginning of the garden and i could not show you wonderful things that can be done in your balcony but now keep watching this video and you will come to know that how much produce i got from my balcony garden in the month of uh, july the chickpea plants started producing these chickpea pole pots and um, in my place uh, it's a really tasty local snack so if you open this uh, chickpea pot you will get a chickpea inside that and um, it's very sweet and very tasty not only the chickpea pots you can also use the chickpea leaves as um, vegetables Chickpea leaves are called Chaneka Saag. The best thing that I grew in my garden was um, cucumber. Let's take a look at it. When I bought this 25 cent packet of uh, cucumber from a shop, I never imagined that um, it is going to give me a lot of happiness. I just soaked it and planted the seeds in the pots and started waiting. The plant grew really fast and um, I even gifted some of the pots to my neighbors for growing. Its fluffy, velvety leaves just made my day. It was very soft to touch and it was a really beautiful thing to watch. It added a lot of glow on green day in my garden. See how many flowers this single plant has. I added my cucumber plants to uh, the top part of my uh, um, vertical garden and that's why they got a lot of sun. Like other uh, cucurbitaceous family plants, um, and cucumber plants also have uh, male and female flowers and uh, when uh, these female flowers and fertilizers they produce cucumbers but these uh, flowers were in abundance so I never really need to artificially pollinate it because um, it attracted bees a lot at the end of the season and the, some of the fruits were uh, 
a bit disfigured but who cares they were tasty and they were perfect in their own sense Last year, I tried to grow okra twice. Once I used the seeds from India that my sister bought with her, and um, then I ordered the seeds again because um, these seedlings uh, die. Uh, so uh, all I concluded from this experiment was that if you, uh, if I have to grow okra in Germany, then I have to manage my time really very carefully. And also, and it requires a lot of um, sunlight. And in my case, what happened was um, I put it in my vertical garden, and then because of um, bottle guard and cucumber, okra plants didn't really had any sunlight. So, wish me better luck next time. I planted my lobia seeds really late, so when I was not expecting much. But they got a few flowers, uh, but no fruit. Uh, so uh, and this will also be considered a failed experiment. So next year I will try it again with the better timing. Throughout the year I enjoyed so many herbs. You just name it. Uh, we had mint. Coriander, thyme, rosemary, chives, so many herbs were there and I even gifted a lot of herbs in a form of bouquet to my neighbors and they were really happy to receive them as a gift. Bottle guard plants were really slow to grow, but when they grow, oh boy, they grow really good. I planted them in the lowest part of my vertical garden, and um, to chase sunlight, and they grow taller and taller, and they literally cover all the uh, part of my balcony. At first, I had to do a lot of pollination. I was literally a bee. Uh, for him in male and female plant of uh, bottle guard then after some time I realized I really need not to do that uh, it, it was the first time ever in Germany somebody grew bottle guard and the results were mind-blowing whenever I used to put these photographs on Facebook my friends were uh, very very happy and gave me a very good response and uh, these uh, bottle guard uh, fruits were so tasty and so tender that my husband he ate it uh, without uh, cooking and my little princess was so excited about all the vegetables that were growing in my balcony she used to go out and when she was in bad mood and used to pick tomatoes and bottle guard so and i will put some pictures here and videos too you see yourself
so i planted balcon wonder tomatoes in my balcony and um, it was awesome i could not even count that how many tomatoes were there mostly it was my daughter's department to go out in the balcony and pick the tomatoes and um, that's why i don't have uh, much photographs of tomatoes but it really lasted so much and gave me a lot of feel from tomatoes got much strawberry in the autumn um, and it was not of good quality but there were so many flowers and so many strawberries so let's talk about bitter gourd now and um, it was the first time anybody is growing bitter gourd in germany so it was um, much better in yield and uh, i didn't know what to expect but i didn't expect it this positive surprise i got so many bitter gourd from my balcony garden i have uh, male and female flowers and um, at first i pollinated them but now afterwards uh, i <laughs> didn't so i need to pollinate them One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Although as the name suggests, bitter gourd is bitter in taste, but I love bitter gourd and other ve bitter vegetables, for example fenugreek and uh, bitter gourd itself. They are very very healthy. So last year, Mother Nature rewarded me a lot. Let's take a look at um, some of the random pictures from my balcony garden. grow capsicum too but from a single plant i got only three capsicum the two was small so i won't say that it was much of the success but it was a, it was something to remember for the whole life just from my pantry i added some dried peas in my, in a pot and i got these beautiful pea plant and a handful of uh, uh, peas pot It's a wonderful picture of a flower turning into a fruit and this is the pick of a strawberry flower. I visited some place and there they grew these blackberries in the vertical garden and it was so beautiful not to capture. So I did capture this. I absolutely love my brinjal plants and, um, and their uh, small fruits.
in my last um, visit to switzerland i saw these raised beds everywhere to uh, grow food and also uh, the swiss uh, balconies are full of green and um, the friend to whom we visited they also had a lot of um, vegetables still in my balcony a few leafy vegetables are growing for example this kale but uh, i really don't pick anything for eating just because i'm so uh, lazy to go out in the balcony to pick the vegetables up so my dear friends that's all for today and um, right now i am waiting for next summer and until then i am cooking at home and enjoying my time with family and i will show you my garden again next summer until then bye bye and how do you like my garden please write to me in comment and if you have any suggestion or comment then please let me know so that i can improve myself and um, yes we will meet again with new topic new video until then bye bye